Okay, so let's start with a market int introduction. Uh, I would like to ask uh, my colleague to present for you this uh, topic. Good afternoon to everybody. Marcus Antilip, Professional Marketing for uh, Microcontroller inside Europe. Okay. So, uh, what about, uh, about uh, actually ULP? I mean uh, ultra low power. Ultra low power, this is ultra low power. This is a board ultra low power, I mean. In this case, uh, we have on this device, maybe wearable, a component which is STM32L. L stands for ultra low power for our STM32. We started this story with the Cortex M3, uh, let's say some years ago, and now we are explaining what does mean, uh, let's say, uh, ultra low power for us. Going ahead, okay. Uh, we have, uh, let's say, this, uh, this afternoon, the possibility to explain L4. L4, which is, uh, for your information, uh, the new generation of auto low power for us. And uh, in this case, okay, you can see from uh, the first column how I run us in terms of uh, auto low power DSP, which is not a nonsense because we can have performances, we can have, let's say, low consumption even if uh, we have a lot of things to do with this device. One megabyte of flash, a dual bank, uh, which is, uh, let's say, really, really important. You want to upgrade the code also over the air. You can swap the code uh, simply by charging by a radio on one bank and then swapping at the end, okay, with the previous version. 128K and also uh, ADC with a high, uh, let's say, uh, sample rate and peripheral for instance USB, OTG, which stands for Austin device in dynamical way, uh, full speed. And uh, that's important also talking about a wearable device or devices that are uh, according also audio. Sima data interface, uh, digital filtering, uh, you have only to connect, uh, let's say, um, an analog front end and then you can uh, uh, manage also audio, microphone for instance. Then in addition, LCD, LCD driver there, and also the other peripherals, uh, taking account, okay, packaging uh, from 64 pins to uh, 144. In this case, okay, this is a CSP 100 pin, miniaturized, really, 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 really small, but in this case, maybe for wearable. In your aspect, uh, the main subject we are interested in is ultra low power to lower the consumption. L43 Airliner, for instance, or smart gas metering, that's important in this case in volumes uh, uh, up to quarter of max in terms of flash, and uh, also the same peripheral almost, uh, but one single bank. This is new, 2017 L496, which is including, this is the first, on top the peripheral you mentioned before, also something for graphics, I mean, camera interface for seasonal sensor and also hardware accelerator for graphics core mark and uh, in addition of that uh, we can handle for instance uh, uh, with this device graphics this is the, the reason why we increase the red ram size uh, up to 320k uh, interesting this is a subject of this afternoon l452 l452 the first one on top the previous peripherals which has the capability to use or not use, uh, depending, the SMPS, just to reduce the consumption. Those are ultra low power devices, so it means that you have to reduce uh, as much as possible, not only the dynamic power, but also the static power, which is important when we are not, let's say, working, not in run mode, but also in a uh, stop, standby, and maybe shutdown mode. Okay, going ahead, uh, this is new, last column, January 2018, uh, growing and growing in terms of flash, in terms of RAM, adding peripherals, in this case they want to reduce as much as possible the capability of the device in order to have a low cost L4. It means that we can have, a, let's say, in certain mode, another lap with L0, but in this case, really, really competitive in terms of price because it uh, uh, should be more around uh, some let's say, leave the order of uh, the euro, but in any case, uh, that's important because <coughs> it is a DSP, Cortex M4, with a few as the other devices are. <coughs> okay, going ahead. This is a novel 
this is an overview about all the devices crossing the peripheral, crossing the coordinates we can have, for instance, uh, for x, y, and x is uh, crossing the coordinates at least four, five, six devices, uh, different devices. And that's important because you have the full capability to select uh, the devices most suitable for your application. Going at from the minimum package, the 32-pin QFN, very, very small, to 144, and uh, in this case, this is a BGA. Okay. Okay, this is uh, really, really new. We are talking about two weeks ago. Two, two weeks ago, November 14, we launched, okay, this device, so-called a 32L4 Plus. What does it mean? Plus improvement, enhancement, more performance, starting from 80 megahertz up to 120 megahertz. More or less around the same consumption for uh, microamps per megahertz, having, it, let's say, doubling at, at maximum the consumption in stock mode, that's the only, let's say, indication, but uh, we have a device which is 120 megahertz with, uh, you will discover, okay, uh, later on, some capability which are, for instance, in this case, uh, increasing the frequency, doubling the memory, dual bank, and also the RAM, RAM is important, why? Because uh, we have, okay, this is the third device, ultra low power with uh, TFT controller, integrated TFT controller. So it means that we can afford and uh, manage graphics uh, thanks to this hardware accelerator. On top, the Chrome Art we already have, we at least have two. Why two? Because, uh, okay, just to come in back uh, the previous subject, uh, we have to drive also maybe circular screen. This is important, this is important, why? Because we can save memory, at least 20% less. This um, less memory, less flash, less RAM, in order to avoid to, to manage only the <coughs> corner of the screen. You can drive directly a rectangular screen thanks to the Chrome Art, a circular screen thanks to the Chrome GRC. So we have actually two, uh, let's say, hardware accelerator, and for the TFT controller, we are using the MIPI, MIPI interface, which is really, really powerful to drive the screen. It's important more and more becoming a standard for uh, graphics, uh, I mean for uh, CMOS sensors, and also for uh, uh, the, the screen itself. So uh, this is a powerful device. Uh, this is the state of the art, the, the, the super set, the best we have actually now. Okay, going ahead. <coughs> I want to mention also a subject of this afternoon presentation. This is, uh, okay, the power shield. It allows you to measure, uh, let's say, that's important because uh, it's useful, maybe also easy to measure with the proper screw instrument, uh, let's say, nano amps currents. In this case, in this case uh, the importance, uh, the, the, the big uh, and the improvement is to measure with the same tool nano amps and milliamps. It means that if you want to trace your uh, power consumption, your power profile, in depending on usage, you can have the stop mode a few nanoamps, 10 nanoamps, and the run mode at milliamps. So you can measure at the same time the peaks and the, let's say, and the stop mode where the, the device, uh, let's say, is sleeping. So in this case, it's compatible with the, all the nuclear we have. I mean, 32 pin because the socket 64 pin and 144 pin behind, working standalone through the LCD here and also uh, maybe working also working with the APC having, a, let's say, a data logger. You can, in this case, measure, thanks to your interface on the PC, your profile. This is a run, this is a peak, and this is, okay, the time, which is in runtime measurement. That's important because otherwise it's working like a dis digital oscilloscope like uh, an instrument of thousands of uh, dollars or euros, depends. But in this case, uh, with your PC, with, your, with this tool, you can add uh, this kind of capability, standalone and with a PC. That's important, and also the, the acquisition is uh, important at 750 kilo samples per second with this kind of capability. Measurement for 3.3 volt down to 1.8, and also the precision. 
I really, really strongly suggest to you, to your customer, to consider it because uh, it's really important for uh, your usage if you want to talk again about ultra low power. Ultra low power is really important, it's becoming more and more important, adding a lot of capability. And then, okay, that's important also uh, coming back because uh, this is used uh, is certified ENDC. ENDC is the benchmark we are using now to measure us, ST, ST32, ultra low power, and the other devices of the competition. So it's public. They're exposing our capability, our performances in front of okay, uh, the users. And then, okay, let's consider ENDC. This is certified. You can use, for instance, with this tool, at least uh, four boards, uh, maybe nuclear boards, and also discovery boards. No problem to, to, to measure, to, to, uh, to trace, and also to handle, let's say, all the graphics you need in order to understand your performances, not only estimation, but real consumption. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your attention.